اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to report structural model analysis results. In this part of the reporting session we are going to just look into the direct relationships that we assessed in one of the earlier videos. Just the effect of IM on these proposed mediators and those proposed mediators on OP. In the coming sessions we are going to look into mediation analysis and how to report it, moderation analysis and how to report it. Now I've got a template here with all my hypotheses the individual relationships between the two variables so each of this direct effect is now hypothesized here internal marketing pos internal marketing oc internal marketing cc internal marketing isq and same for all these mediators flowing towards organizational performance As for these moderators, I'm not interested in assessing the role of role ambiguity and role conflict in organizational performance. Rather, I'm interested in their moderating role, so I'm not assessing the direct impact of these moderators. So my hypothesis, there is a significantly positive impact of internal marketing on organizational performance. So let's assess this hypothesis and see how to report it. Now that we have done the measurement model, the next step is your structural model assessment. We have seen how to report it in a detailed session. That session will be shared in the description as well. And once you have done your measurement model, the next step is your structural model assessment to assess whether your proposed paths are significant or not. So what is your H1? H1 evaluates whether internal marketing significantly and positively affects organizational performance. And that was your proposed hypothesis. The results revealed that internal marketing has a significant and positive impact on organizational performance. So have a look here and now we are going to copy the results as well. Let's go to report internal marketing organizational performance 0 0.5527.807. Let's copy the results 0 0.5527.807. If I'm not wrong and P value 0.000 when it is 0.000 it should be written like this less than 0.001 hence h1 was supported now let's have another hypothesis now this is how you report when your results are significant what if your results are insignificant so i've got a template here let's get this template let's copy this and put it here and let's see if i've got any hypothesis that is insignificant so pos on op so what is pos on op at six so let's say if you do the rest of them at six evaluates whether perceived organizational support significantly and positively affects organizational performance the results revealed that PS, POS, that is perceived organizational support, has an insignificant impact on OP. So what's your beta value for this insignificant impact? Minus 0 0.018. Look at the statistics, almost negligible. Minus 0 0.018. And T was 0.298. And p value was let's have a look 0 0.383 0 0.383 and then you type in hence h6 was not supported similarly you can do for all the other hypothesis from h1 to h9 and then finally you just type in this line here the results are presented in table 1 where are your results so let's copy them export to csv let me get uh, this file here you need to first obviously paste it in excel delete the sample column here select these cells format cells go up until three decimal points okay now copy it and bring it into the word document delete this press enter if you've got abbreviations they should be put in here. 
So you can briefly describe all the other details as well. Let's select this. Call border. Right click. Auto fit. Window. Let's do some. Okay. Remove the borders. Bottom border. Top border. And bottom border under first row. So here it is. Let's rename it. This is your beta coefficient, the rate of impact. This is your standard deviation. And this is your t statistics. And let's center it, all the text. Now you need, you obviously will need to rearrange on these weights here, the regression weights. That is your hypothesis. Let's say, what was H1? IM to OP. Here it is, IM to OP. So let's cut it and you should paste it here after here. So you can remove the bottom border if you want. And let's add the bottom border here now. So this is how you have to rearrange it. Again, you can change the font, change the size if the text is flowing here and there out of uh, the cells and going into the next line. Okay, just select backspace, delete entire row. Okay, so here you can just in the notes, you can put in the abbreviations if you've got some. Now, where is your figure? How do you get it? Let's come back here. Let's go to graphical output. So here is the diagram. Let's run it again so I can get the figure with the estimates and I'll simply paste it here. So this is how you can report your direct relationships. In the coming sessions, we are going to talk about mediation analysis, how to report it, moderation analysis, and how to report it. And then I'm going to have a summary of structural model analysis with direct relationship, mediation, and moderation as well. Thank you very much.